Hi, this is Michael White from MusicProductionGuide.com and you are now watching Wink Sound. In this video, I'm going to go over the basic parameters of the audio compressor. There are five basic parameters you will find in any stock plugin, regardless of the platform that you're working in. They are the ratio, the attack, the release, the threshold, and the makeup gain. The ratio determines how aggressively the compressor will kick in once the threshold is exceeded. A ratio of 10 to 1 is far more aggressive than a ratio of 2 to 1. Higher ratios are typically used for peak reduction or wherever you want aggressive heavy compression. Lower ratios are used for smoother compression, where you want to smooth out an audio signal and even out its performance. The attack time is like a delay before the onset of compression. So a slower attack time will allow transient signals like the one shown here to pass through unaffected while the body of the signal would be compressed. If you wanted to attenuate the peak signal, then you would need to make a faster attack so it would have time to grab this almost instantaneous peak. The release time doesn't kick in until the signal falls back below the threshold. Once that kicks in, the release starts to act. Faster release times are used for peak signals. Slower release times are used for smoothing out the sound of a performance. Sometimes the settings are placed in between to create a musical pumping and breathing effect if the attack and ratio are set aggressively and the threshold is set low. The makeup gain is used to make up for any lost gain with the attenuation of the audio signal. If I slow the attack time here, hit play, and then set my threshold accordingly, I will achieve a certain amount of gain reduction. If I notice that the gain reduction is approximately about 3 dB on average, then I would set my makeup gain to be approximately the same to make up for the lost gain that has happened through the compression settings. There are several other settings that can affect the action of the compressor. One is the knee. The knee actually starts to employ the ratio slightly before the threshold is exceeded. A soft knee will smooth in the compression setting so that it's less aggressive. Think of it like a crossfade effect for the ratio. If I have a harder knee, then the ratio kicks in almost instantaneously once the threshold is exceeded. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.